uh, I currently hold a position of a, a senior honorary fellow at the University of Queensland in the School of uh, Land and Food Sciences. Uh, my role there is mainly uh, providing mentoring assistance for overseas students. I spent 30 years of my life actually uh, working in Southeast Asia. And in those early years I was interested in the languages so even now I make sure I don't forget the languages. When I returned to Australia in 2001 I was invited by uh, ACR to assist with the coordination of a program of small research grants uh, which were made available for people in research institutions, in universities and NGO organisations to, to do some of their own research. Uh, it was a program which finished only last year. I also became aware that there were opportunities through the Crawford Fund to uh, seek funding support to arrange that Cambodians uh, who would benefit from trips to Australia to make uh, educational visits, you know, in agricultural disciplines. The first notable benefit from my perception is the uh, improvement in the capacity of the research and agricultural educational institutions within Cambodia. Rural development in Cambodia is really going to be dependent on the capabilities and knowledge of the people in Cambodia. Part of my heart will always be here. I have this attachment to the people and the countries which I'll never forget and, and I just look for any opportunity I can to, to assist them. I think it would be wonderful if countries like Australia are able to consider providing support for people to undertake their studies within Cambodia at institutions which the development of which is reflected past assistance by Australia.